So as we all know that this year, amongst so many great games, we will also get Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. This gas mask is about to bring so many Breaking Bad memes. But in the build-up to Chapter 3, there's one character that will return 100%. Hoggy Woggy, Experiment 1170. Now in prep for that, Mob Entertainment released a brand new video. Now this video is a VHS. This VHS is probably one of the best you'll see. It is made by Mob Entertainment so officially. It's such a good video regardless of whether you want to, you know, take a look at the lore and whatnot. Basically, it is a security footage and basically an investigation kind of, you know, VHS where we see the events unfolding as Huggy Wuggy Experiment 1170 escapes from the facility. He goes miles away from the facility because, you know, he He's tall, he is huge, he can cover a lot of distance. He goes into miles, into the forest, and woods, and whatnot, and they try to capture him. Now, unfortunately, lives are lost. So many are injured, and of course, they blur a little bit, but you can still make out, you know, what kind of injuries these unfortunate people had to go through. Some people might say, deserved for the kind of experiments they were doing, but that's the beauty of it. You can look at it from any angle or any side. At the end, we saw Lath Peer, the head of innovation. He was not happy. He wanted to know how Huggy Woogie or this experiment 1170 got out in the first place. And this is back when the operations were in full swing. And when I say operations were in full swing, I mean when experiments were happening left, right, and center. The reason we are talking about this and reason why this tape is so crucial to chapter 3 because one of the big reasons we're seeing them face mask or the gas mask in the first place is because of the scent, the smell, the poppy smell that was, you know, thrown into the freaking orphan area, the play kids area. They were playing. So it is messed up from so many levels. This adds to that. If you go back and look at the trailer, you will hear the kids crying. But also, some other things are happening in the background as well. One of them is, of course, as the chaos is happening, chaos is suing, some experiments take advantage of the opportunity and try to escape. And I think we will learn notes that more experiments, other experiments, try to escape every time there was a failure in experiments, every time there was a chaotic thing that happened during the operations, during the experiments, during the whatever. Every time there's a failure, because we both know there are been a lot of failures. That just adds a much more deep layer and dark tone, dark theme to the ongoing already fascinating lore that is this puppy playtime and it for me it separates this game from others because it doesn't shy away from you know, using this kind of, or showing this kind of violence. I hope they bring this kind of gore into their own games. I know some people are going to argue that it doesn't need it, but I think it is high time that these monsters now become fully-fledged killing machines. It is now time that their designs look far more scarier, broken, and all that nasty stuff. I think as you move towards the final few chapters, they gotta pull the switch on that. So yeah, I'm so, like, impressed by the quality that Mob Entertainment, say whatever you want, Mob Entertainment, whenever they do anything, they bring heat and they're being quality. We're not talking about Project Playtime, we're not talking about the PP, we're talking about whenever they do any video, cutscenes, any designs, they bring quality, they bring heat, and stuff like this, it just makes me so excited and so hype for Poppy Playtime film. Say whatever you want, but their input in the film is gonna be nuts, and if this VHS tape is anything to go by, we will be in for a treat when it premieres in a theater. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, let's focus on chapter 3. Suzu for more. Poopy video. Yeah.